Okay, so in this part two of the bar chord lesson, we're going to start talking about um, playing bar chords that are five string bar chords. Now the reason why these are a little bit more difficult actually than six string bar chords, even though you're holding down the strings, is because you have to think about muting the string that you're not playing. So let's get to these. We have two bar chords on the, the uh, download that you can get from the site. And the fifth string downloads, uh, we're going to start with the minor shape. Now, you can see that my first finger is going to start here at the fifth string and then go across to the first. Okay? So remember the positioning. You don't want your thumb up here. You want your thumb in the middle of the back of the neck. And your fingers can be nice and free around it. But it's a good anchor point for the back of your hand. And your fingers will shoot straight up. You'll notice they'll go straight to the ceiling. Okay? And you want to keep your wrist relatively straight. And it, not bent out like this. Don't just keep bring it in and make sure your fingers aren't out over the neck like that. Just let them come up naturally to the fingerboard. And what I'm having to do with this first finger is I have to use the tip of it, the very tip edge of my finger. I have to go past the fifth string and touch just like the bottom side of the sixth string. That'll you do not want to get over onto it. You want to be just underneath it, touching the bottom of it. That way, it's not held down. If you, if you, if you go too far, you'll actually hold it down. But if you are able to come down and just be barring five strings, stop just after that fifth string, just enough to where the tip of your first finger is muting the sixth string. And it sounds like that on that sixth string. Okay. And then let's place our, the rest of our fingers down. This, this particular chord comes from an A minor chord. So an easy way of getting to it and memorizing it is to play an A minor chord, one of our basic open position chords we've already done. Now, just like the previous chord, the form E chord before, uh, or the E major chord before, we're going to switch the fingers we use and go to 2, 3, and 4 to play this one. So we get the same chord. Now we're going to move everything up one fret. So we have two zeros, the fifth string zero and the first string zero. So what we're going to have to do is move this up one fret, and then the zeros need to become ones by barring from the fifth string across to the first. All right, and remember the tip of the first finger is going to come down so it mutes the sixth string. And we're going to take this chord shape. You can play it on any fret you want. It's still a minor chord wherever you go. It's just a C minor here, D minor, E minor, and so forth. We'll work on how to work all that out soon. But see, at the third fret, it's a nice, comfortable place to play it. And you want to strum five strings. We're muting that sixth string just in case you hit that, the, uh, the sixth string. But you know, in playing situations, when you're doing a strumming and stuff like that, Kind of, sometimes it's kind of hard to avoid that. So that's why we're muting it. But you are aiming for the five string you're on. You're not going to want to intentionally hit it just because it is muted. Um, now, we have a one note difference for the major chord version of this bar, fifth string bar chord. And all we do is we're trying to move this second finger up one fret. Obviously, we can't do that. So we have to change positions. But we are going to make just this four on the second string move up to five. So in order to do that, we have to move the pinky over to that five. And then the third finger takes over the note that the pinky was just holding. And then that second finger comes over and plays the one that the third finger was just holding. So we go from here, and then just kind of shift everything down, and then this one over. OK? So Keep practicing these. Try to make them as clean as possible. Um, after you get a handle on them, it's a good idea maybe to try to start playing them in different frets. So even the majors that we did earlier, you just go major here and then play the seventh fret, the first fret, which has the most string tension there, fifth fret. Just play it on every fret. And then do it with minor. And for right now, to make sure that every note is coming out in the thing, you want to just 
just basically every once in a while just pick through it. And if you hear something like this, well you know you got to put a little bit more pressure in the middle of that finger and adjust it just like that. So listen to what you sound like. That is the biggest problem with a lot of players is they can just they love to watch their fingers go, but they don't actually listen to themselves. And if you do, you'll be a, a very be your own worst critic basically. And make sure you play these things, um, practice them correctly and accurately, and you'll you'll get them flying very very quickly. Okay. The next lesson we're going to concentrate on power chords, which Combined with open chords, these bar chords, basic bar chords and power chords, you're talking about 95% of the chords used in popular music. So get ready. I'll see you there.